Welcome back to another one. Most of you know I make my own game calls, whether it's duck calls, goose calls, turkey calls. I've never turkey hunted. And I'm going to tell you why I've never turkey hunted. Because here in Ontario, back a few years ago, if you wanted to hunt turkeys, you had to take a course. Not only buy a tag, which is, I get it, but you had to take a course. You know, we got time for that. Anyway, you no longer have to take a course. So I bought the tag. Now today, what you're going to see is Nate and I try and go turkey hunting. Now, I've watched a lot of spot and stocks, and I like the spot and stock. I've tried it on deer. Unsuccessful. I'm thinking turkey got to be a little easier. They're a dumb bird. I know they got amazing eyesight, but, well. Oh, also, before we get going, Nate's first time as a cameraman. Cut him a little slack, okay? I think he did a pretty good job. Anyway, enjoy. I'll be back in a minute. Guys, welcome back to another one. We're turkey hunting today. But we got busted. We got here a little bit late. Listen. So have a listen to this. He's coming. Now it's hard to see, but I am working two big toms and five hens. They know I'm there. Let's go back to it.
Well, as you see, we didn't get anything. However, what did we learn? We learned that spot and stock is a lot harder than what you think it is. Second, Nate enjoyed running the camera. I think he did a pretty good job for his first time of never touching this camera. Never touching any camera for that matter. So, I'm going to cut him a little bit of slack. I think he did a good job. And, I was using this call right here. This is the first slate call I ever made. Nice walnut back. Black slate finish. If you're spotting stock, this is not what you want. You do not want to use this. I found myself putting the gun down, picking the gun back up. Not good at all, especially spotting stock. If you're going to spot and stock, what you want to do, and I make these as well. Drop it on the floor. It's a mouth call. They make things a whole lot simpler. Take a little practice to use, but I mean, your hands are on the gun. Your hands are not on the call. Put the gun down. Pick it up. Put it down. Pick it. Again, ain't nobody got time for that. Put the round edge in your mouth to the back. As you can see, I need a little more practice with those, but what they do is they, is like I said, they free up your hands. Anyway, we didn't get a bird, but we got hooked. I mean, the spot and stock that went on was fabulous. We had a great time. But when you're spot and stocking with a, with a camera guy, it's, it's, both of you has got to be still. I mean, the first time I chirped that, I was not expecting the response. And that just got everything going. We had a great time. Like I said, a fabulous time. One, we're in the outdoors. Two, I'm with my kids. Doesn't get any better than that. This weekend, we're going to be going out and doing the same thing. However, I think we're going to set up. I think we're probably going to sit stationary now that I know where the birds are moving to. Might be a little easier to get one. It may have been a little hard to see there near the end. But as I moved along the top of the ridge, the birds got closer to the river. Well... They were already at the river. That's where I noticed them at. They're really hard to see on camera, but that's where they were at. And I was trying to get an elevated position on them, something within range. And uh, I waited and waited and waited. And I don't think I got busted there. I don't know. They just decided it was time to fly across the river, and they got up and wanted the hunt was over. We spent about two and a half hours talking to those guys. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed that. Folks, if you're new here, thanks for joining. I hope you're going to stick around by hitting that red button down there, ringing the bell, sharing the videos. I appreciate it all very much because YouTube does not like these kind of videos. If you're not new here, thanks for coming back. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, let me point that at you. Until then, get out and enjoy the outdoors. I'll see you. on recording okay just make sure it's level and straight you don't have a close-up of my boogers do you can you just